All right, guys, what is up? Mark and Twan here, and today we're continuing this week talking about attraction marketing this week. Uh, I'm going to really lay out a lot of things. Uh, a lot of my content is going to come from the course that I created. So if that's if you get value from today and you're interested in getting that full course, uh, go ahead and send me an inbox uh, after today's what we're talking about. And we're talking about posts, so different kind of posts, which ones raise curiosity and intrigue people to want to know more about what you're doing and which kind of posts are you going to have that's going to raise that resistance. People are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you know, let me stay away from this person. Let me avoid this person. OK, so we're talking about those two type of posts today. Um, and really, there's three main posts that we're going to go over. And let's hop right in to today's information. All right. And yes, here we go. So ways, we're talking about ways to make connections on Facebook and attraction on Facebook. Again, this is seven slides of about 150 slides. This course um, is actually split up into three different parts. So if that's something that you get value from today, make sure you just send me a message and I'll, and I'll let you get the link to the course. Uh, and it's an absolute 100% free course as well. Uh, so something that you could check out. Okay, so ways to make connections and attract. So with your Facebook timeline, you're going to do engagement posts. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about Facebook groups, how to uh, connect with people in a way that you're not repelling them and not pushing pushing them away from you, especially if they're the type of people that you want to attract. And we're going to talk about Facebook Lives, just like we're on right now, Facebook Lives, uh, definitely uh, one of my favorites there. Okay, so attracting the type of people you want to attract and what you want to post. So you want to post things that have people curious versus things that make people uh, resist what you're doing. So you want it 90% personal and probably about like 10% about your business. Okay. So you want to do imagery and picture quotes. So imagery quotes. I really like just typing in the quotes. Uh, people people really like to read read something real quick to get their day. Uh, so quotes is a good thing. Lifestyle pictures. So posting something about food. Uh, what kind of food you ate? Uh, maybe your children at the beach maybe you're just hanging out at the park that kind of thing lifestyle pics is definitely a good thing inspirational quotes uh, we talked about that uh, so it could be either imagery with a picture or a picture of you outside doing something or you could actually just type in a quote uh, in a message I definitely like doing that at least once a day uh, typing in a nice quote that I read uh, something just to help people who are using that for affirmations, that kind of thing. And valuable uh, resources, content, uh, random questions. And we're going to talk about that uh, in a little bit more detail. And give give opportunities for people to get, get to your blog uh, with MLSP, uh, which is a marketing system. You get a blog. Um, so if you don't have a blog and that's something that you're interested in, just let me know. And pay attention to feedback. So the world is a feedback mechanism. That's a quote from Robert Kiyosaki. There's some posts that you're going to have that you're going to see, hey, this post didn't get that much engage engagement. This post got a lot of engagement. Take a mental note of that so that you're constantly improving the kind of posts that you're doing to get, the, get more and more engagement. And when one post gets a lot of engagement, your next post is actually going to be boosted just based off Facebook's al algorithm to get more engagement. OK, so how to engage with people on your timeline. Again, we're going to talk about curiosity posts. And here's a good example of a curiosity post. And it's going to intrigue somebody to want more information. You might say something like this morning I had a great smoothie uh, with apples, oranges, mangoes, a green powder, almond milk, and had a lot of energy all day. Now, think to yourself, what question is, are, is going to come up from somebody reading this kind of post? They're going to be like, what, what's that green powder? What's that green powder? I want some of that. Green stuff. What is that? Right. So they're going to be looking like, what is that green powder? Right. And that's exactly what you want. Once they ask that, that's then going to give you an opportunity to then, uh, talk about maybe that green powder has something to do with something that you can offer of benefit. Um, if you're in a health and wellness company or something like that, maybe that's what, what, what's your uh, way of talking about that. OK. And. We want people to comment and post more so that more people sit, see your next post, like we said before. Okay, so we can ask a question. You can ask a question like, who still uses Snapchat? 
Uh, when's the last time you logged in on MySpace? You know, those kind of questions are going to get people like, oh, man, I, I haven't haven't been on MySpace since high school, man. Is, is this still around? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, fill in the blank. So something like uh, at Rutgers, at Howard, I was known for blank, you know. And, you know, you may may may, may not want to pose that, you know, you, depending on how, how the college life was, um, you know. So, and I love my blank. So those kind of things are going to get people on your timeline. So let's say you have a lot of people with your college friends. A lot of them will then, uh, then message like, oh, man, I was known for this. I was known for that. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and, and it just gets, gets engagement on your timeline, okay? Quotes, post engaging pictures, post uh, blog posts. Uh, we talked about that, okay? How to connect in groups. So groups, uh, and especially if you're a marketer, you want to get into groups like the Robert Kiyosaki group, the Tony Robbins group, and you really want to just start making connections and talking to people, getting to know people. Uh, you want to post your own posts in there, and that can actually attract people to you. If you make a really good uh, post, it gets a lot of uh, likes and a lot of um, comments, then that would definitely um, attract people to you. But you also want to get in there and just make connections and talk to people. Be social. Um, don't be the person that just posts and leaves, but actually be social, talk to people, get to know people, comment on people's stuff. Uh, all those things are going to definitely help you to uh, attract the right kind of people, the kind of people that... Uh, that you want to be attracting into your into your marketplace, okay? Being consistent in the groups is important because then people are going to get used to your face and used to seeing you in the group uh, making those kind of posts. And always come from a place of value. Okay? That's super important. And have the mindset that that you're not that you're making connections and you're not. It's not about closing because if you have that mindset that you're always trying to close somebody, all you're gonna do is attract the type of person that's gonna try to close you. Okay, find a group that interests you. Maybe it has something else to do with something completely outside of your business. Maybe it's soccer. Maybe it's um, you know, just just something along those lines. Your sport, your hobby, whatever it is, that's gonna give you just be a place where you could learn to be more social on uh, Facebook. So. The last thing we're going to talk about is Facebook Live, and the Facebook algorithm has changed to really favor video, favor doing video. Um, again, I can't see the comments, so if you guys are commenting, I uh, really appreciate you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. I hope you guys get value uh, from this. So if you're on this, I really thank you from, really from the bottom of my heart. Really thank you for coming out, and I hope you get value from this. This is the last slide, I believe. Uh, Facebook lives and we're on a Facebook live and really it could a subtly promote a co course it could be used to promote an upcoming blog post uh, simply give value to the marketplace uh, it could be used to inform it could be used to engage it could just be used uh, you having fun outside you on vacation something like that so Facebook lives is really either a for engagement or B for information it's a way of giving that content in a way that um, you're delivering it in a really personal way and it's live so people know that um, you know if you make a mistake it just shows that you're a human being that you're there you're not a robot and you're actually there um, just trying to help people, trying to interact with people. People could get to know you through your Facebook lives. Okay, create a daily uh, show. That's something I did. Uh, so seven o'clock. Um, I'm I'm pretty much here. Basically, I try to be here as much as possible. I think uh, over the last couple months, I missed probably like three or four shows. Uh, which you know you want to be as consistent as you possibly can. Um, you know, and let people know if you have to change the time up. And that kind of thing. But creating a daily show is definitely going to help you with consistency and help people to just, just get, get in tune with, hey, this person is going to be on around this time. I'm going to get this type of information. Let me make sure I tune in. And, you know, keep it short and engaging and invite people to take action. Okay. Uh, what you can do is download your video. So if you have a YouTube channel or a blog, you can use download videos from .com. Um, and the last thing I'm going to say on Facebook Lives is don't let like a little bit of engagement or anything like that keep you down or keep you from con being consistent about what you're doing. Uh, if what you're doing is something that you just know in your heart, hey, this is the this is what needs to be done in the world and this is the impact I can have on the world, then, then just go and do that for, the, for that purpose. Eventually, everything else will fall into place. All right. So that's it for Facebook Lives. That's what we got for today. Uh, engagement versus repelling um i think that was the title I'm, I'm, i don't even remember what the title was but uh in, oh curiosity versus uh 
Let me see. Versus resistance. Yes. Curiosity versus resistance. Uh, that's what we're talking about today. I uh, hope you guys got value from this. I had a good time. And if you are interested in getting the full course, so this was seven slides, seven slides of over 100 slides, okay? I got an over 100 slide course. Uh, it's split up into three different videos, uh, about, about 30 minutes each video. Uh, if you're interested in getting that full course where we just dive into everything, um, including prospecting, we talk about uh, exactly what to say, uh, exactly how to engage with people, those kind of things. Attraction marketing, we talk about branding. Um, really just taking your business online, the tools that you need and, and doing it at a, at a level that, that is re really where you want to be doing it. Especially if you're planning on working online, uh, you want to go ahead and get, get that free course, okay? Um, so go ahead, send me a message if that's something that interests you. If you just got value from this and you just appreciate, you know, you know, you just checking us out for the day and you got some value, just go ahead and click the like button. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for your time. And I'll see you guys next time.